guys, it's Media and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about body lotions because I've been getting quite a few comments asking me what kind of body lotions do I use, which ones would I recommend and so on. So this video is all about body lotions. I'm going to be sharing with you all four different body lotions for different skin concerns. Okay. Now, personally, when it comes to me using a body lotion, I want my body lotion to be lightweight, hydrating yet at the same time it has to be non-sticky because i tend to sweat a lot so i want my body lotion to be extremely lightweight one that does not feel very heavy and yet at the same time it needs to be hydrating also i've had issues with keratosis pyloris so i also wanted a body lotion that would also take care of that skin concern of mine so here you can see in the before and after picture of how well that body lotion that i've been using has treated my keratosis pyloris so effectively so i will be talking about this particular body lotion that i use to treat my kp uh, later in the video and uh, similarly you know we have all have different skin concerns so firstly i'll talk about the skin concern and then i'll talk about the body lotion that you know would effectively take care of that particular skin concern okay so earlier what used to happen you know you used to get like a normal generic body lotion uh, that would be just like a basic that would act like a basic moisturizer but nowadays a lot of body lotions do have actives in them like niacinamide hyaluronic acid Acid, vitamin C retinol which also helps to treat uh, the skin concerns that are there on your body like hyperpigmentation for reducing tanning for treating skin aging and so on and so forth so first I will talk about the skin concern and then I will share the body lotion which is best suited for that so first of all if you're a sort of a person who wants your body lotion to also include sunscreen in it then I have the perfect option for you because I hate applying too many products on my skin and first applying a body lotion then applying a body sunscreen over it is a very tedious task personally for me because I do not even get the time so if you are someone like me then I have the perfect option for you so this is the wish care sunscreen body lotion with SPF 50 so the wish care SPF 50 sunscreen body lotion is enriched with non comedogenic ingredients along with natural extracts of carrot seed and raspberry and it also contains niacinamide extracts of carrot seed and raspberry which have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory components that protect and repair your skin so just like your face your body also needs protection from the sun rays and that is why it is very important to use a good sunscreen all over your body as well and it also offers OMC and oxybenzon free sun protection so it's basically a really safe sunscreen to use which will not harm your skin so the wish care sunscreen body lotion is an extremely lightweight sunscreen that gets instantly absorbed into your skin and because it also contains these other ingredients like niacinamide it also helps to reduce the tan and brightens up your skin tone as well also whenever i use this sunscreen body lotion by wish care i do not actually feel the need to apply any separate moisturizer because the formulation itself is so hydrating and moisturizing that it does a two-in-one job of moisturizing my skin as well as well as giving it the necessary sun protection the next body lotion is for someone who has strawberry skin or rough bumpy textured skin or if you're someone who gets tanned easily and if you want to get rid of your tan then i have the perfect body lotion for you so this is the wish care aha plus bha body lotion and this one contains 10 percent aha blend one percent salicylic acid niacinamide grapefruit and blueberry extracts so lactic acid glycolic acid gently exfoliate to reduce strawberry skin and bumpy and textured skin and it also helps to detan salicylic acid helps with body acne and also smoothens and lightens darker body parts like like knees elbows and neck with regular use and ceramides help to repair the skin barrier so this body lotion has an extremely non-sticky texture that also provides intense hydration so because this body lotion contains AHAs and BHAs, so it is only advisable to use this body lotion only during the night time. Again, you do not really have to apply any separate, uh, you know, body lotion or moisturizer before you apply this one uh, because the texture again is extremely nourishing and hydrating. So you just have to use this once during the night time only and please ensure that you're using a good broad spectrum sunscreen during the daytime the next day. So this is the body lotion that I was talking about earlier in the video that helps 
helped me treat my keratosis pilaris. So I've been religiously using this uh, body lotion since a little over two months. And this is the before and after picture. And you guys can clearly see uh, the KP that I had on my thighs has reduced to such a great extent. And now I do not feel the bumpiness and the textured skin that was there earlier. And all thanks to this particular body lotion because this body lotion contains such an amazing blend of both AHAs and BHAs. Plus it also contains five non-comedogenic moisturizers like hyaluronic acid, squalane, ceramides, oats and glycerine. So it really helps to nicely moisturize your skin as well and plus at the same time it helps with gentle exfoliation. So it not only helps to exfoliate your skin but it also helps in reducing the dark spots that you may have on your body as well. So this again is a really amazing body lotion especially if you're someone who's struggling with textured skin or with bumpy skin or if you have KP. The next body lotion is for someone who's dealing with body pigmentation, dark spots or basically uneven skin tone all over your body then this is the perfect body lotion for you. So this is the multivitamin brightening body lotion by Wish Care. So this one contains an amazing blend of vitamin C, niacinamide, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid as well as ceramides and it also contains kakadu plum extracts and turmeric. So turmeric and kakadu plum extracts are rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties which help to fade body pigmentation, dark spots and also helps to brighten your skin tone. 5% vitamin C and 5% niacinamide help to brighten skin tone and also reduce pigmentation and ceramides helps to repair the skin barrier. So this body lotion has an extremely non-sticky texture and this is also oil free and it can be used both during the day and night time. So I love using this on my chest, stomach and back area because it's not only hydrating and nourishing but it also helps in you know basically evening out your skin tone because it has this beautiful blend of vitamin C, niacinamide and hydrating ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid so it basically brightens your skin tone, makes it even toned yet at the same time it also moisturizes and nourishes your skin so again this is a really nice brightening body lotion for your body and also if you're someone who's prone to tanning quite a lot then this one is a really good option for you because this will work on a day-to-day -day basis of reducing that tan you know basically so this is a really good brightening body lotion for people who are dealing with pigmentation dark spots or if you are you know prone to tanning quite easily and lastly, if you're someone who's looking out for a good anti-aging body lotion, then I have this perfect option for you. So this is the Wish Care Collagen Retinol Body Lotion. And this one contains 1% retinol, plant collagen, ceramides, avocado and rose hair. So 1% retinol helps to firm any sagging skin and also reduces new stretch marks. Avocado and rosehip extracts are rich in vitamin A and antioxidants that help with damage caused due to aging and ceramides helps in repairing the skin barrier and providing long lasting moisturization. So this body lotion has a non-sticky texture that blends really well in your skin and with regular use this helps in reducing skin aging and deeply moisturizes your skin at the same time. So because this body lotion contains retinol it is only advisable to use this during the night time and you do not really have to apply any separate moisturizer because this again the formulation of this uh, body lotion is also extremely nourishing and moisturizing also ensure to use a good broad spectrum sunscreen all over your body during the daytime uh, you know every single day if you're using if you're using this body lotion okay so I am not currently using this this body lotion is used by my mom because she has you know issues with sagging skin but uh, you know as per her ever since she started using this uh, body lotion she has definitely noticed a quite a good improvement in the sagginess in her skin now her skin feels a lot more firmer but again you have to like you know religiously use this uh, body lotion for at least two to three months to see some uh, you know good results okay so basically let me just summarize you know how i use these body lotions okay so first uh, you know this is the sunscreen body lotion that i use during the daytime every single day without fail okay so this is uh, this goes all over my hands and my legs basically then uh, the AHA and BHA body lotion I use this on my thighs basically where I have issues of keratosis pilaris so this takes care of the textured bumpy skin 
and then on my other parts of my body i use this multivitamin brightening body lotion especially on my back and my stomach area where i do have a bit of discoloration okay and lastly the retinol body lotion is used by my mom so this is great for people who are looking out for a good anti-aging body lotion right so yeah guys those were all the four different body lotions for different skin concerns and i hope this video was useful and helpful to you especially if you are dealing with any of these issues now you would know which body lotion you should definitely pick right so like always i have given all of the direct link of these products in the description box below and i've also tried to explain really well of which one works for which skin concern but still if you have any further questions then you can just comment it in the comment section below and i'll surely ensure to answer them for you guys so yeah that's it for today's video guys i will see you soon in my next video until then bye bye